is up guys hi this is glitch here um i am making a video because one i have not made a video in so long two because i've requested my friend techman tony 20 to do a necrovirus video and three because i wanted to make a video on this computer because i'm probably i'm getting a new computer i'm in the process of building one right now so you won't have to deal with all my lag a lot anymore. It's going to be a gaming computer. It's going to be great. It's going to be desktop. I'm actually playing this right now on a modified desktop. I have this hooked, my laptop hooked up to a monitor, a wireless mouse, and an actual keyboard right now. So hopefully that'll make everything better. Um, it seems to have somehow taken the lag off there. I'm not sure if that is any effect, but anyways, let's get in. Um, Techman20 asked me to do a necrovirus video because uh, He's been having trouble trying to beat Necrovirus, and I'm honestly not sure if I'll be able to beat Necrovirus. The first time I ever played it, I beat it on casual, which I usually do. I'll play them on casual, and then I will go to normal mode and try to beat it then. It will usually take me a few attempts, but I will get it. But as you can see, I have been playing quite a lot. I have Brutal on everything, except for Necrovirus down, and that is, of course, because I believe Necrovirus is the hardest to play, but it is the most fun. So let's get started. Oh, I had a ball jump. Um, Necrovirus. Ah, what should we get? Metabolic hijack. I forgot what that does. Catalytic switch is what we're going to want because the cure, once they make it, our zombies are immune to it, but um, uh, we can still get bubbles DNA from the cure. So cure doesn't really affect us, but anyways, if you are new to the, um, just a second, let me figure this out. Okay. Probably, yeah, let's do that, just in case. Give us more time to think Anyways, if you have not um, ever played Necrovirus, it is a um, game, and it's, uh, let me just pick out the stuff, and then I will uh, explain it, because I cannot focus for some reason. Oh, yeah, I don't really have them uh, very much stuff on the Necrovirus. I have only beaten it one game. Uh, okay, it is also in this one. The Necrovirus is a unique virus. It um, allows you to basically make a zombie apocalypse, which is pretty darn awesome. You can invade all countries, you can command the zombies, you can mutate abilities. It is amazingly fun. But, I'm gonna play on casual just in case. Pax told the stupid name. Let's name it. What do you want them to be called? Well, I name might as well use something inappropriate. No, I'm not going to do that. How about we just name it Hexco? So when you finish it, it says Hexco has taken over the world because we are the coolest gaming channel. I'm kidding, we're not the coolest gaming channel. But we are trying to do something. Okay, welcome to Plague Inc. You're in Coronavirus to evolve. You must spread across the world, welcome all human plagues, blah, 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 stuff around. Start in Saudi Arabia. It's always where you want to start. And honestly, I'm not sure if I would be able to beat this, but. It is my best chance. I have beaten on normal before. That's why I got nine of ours, but it is, it is a great one. So it's effective first human. We have to use DNA points to evolve. If you've never played Plague Inc., I mean, I don't know. For virus identify, let's read this. Uh, it has extreme regenerative abilities combined with aggressive metabolic demands. Most of its genetic structures are mystery. Okay. So I'll show you the layout for Necro virus. We have stuff. I know keyboard shortcuts this. Here I'll show you the brain, basically, and I'm not exactly sure if you can see the necrovirus in there already, but once you get some, um, I'm pretty sure you can see my cursor. If you can see my cursor, like it. If you can't see my cursor, like the video as well. Um, once the necrovirus starts evolving, you'll be able to see this red glowish sort of thing in the brain area right here. Um, no, no, it's just the dialogue. But here's all the stuff, here's all my abilities. Um, autolytic reduction, that'll cause my zombies to decay fast, decay less faster. That becomes a major problem once you have barely any zombies left. You are hanging on for your life. Anyways, you can see it's kind of different. We have salivation saliva. I've never used zoonotic shift, actually. Um, means it increases user resource speed. I just never used it ever. I mean, literally, I have never in anything have I even bought it, ever. And, like, d I've never bought it ever. Not even sure if it's been mutated. But segmented genome, I'm not sure if I've ever even used that either. But I had looked up some stuff on how to beat Necrovirus when I first did it. But now I can beat it pretty well. I'm not sure if I'd be able to beat this, but this should give you a basic idea. Um, 
so I'm just going to go through a few things. Here we go. Um, this is more the zombie side, and they eventually both lead to what I like to call an acroa gene, which is about right here, I guess. And it basically turns people... It, it makes the transition fully into zombies. This is more of a cannibalistic side, while this is more of a subtle symptoms, but they just eventually just somehow morph into zombie things. Um, there's just drug risks instead of um, hot and cold or little different. Uh, but once we get zombies and we get the necroid gene, actually, there'll be some stuff popping up over here in this blank area that'll be able to control our different zombies' abilities. I believe it will be um, what kind of zombies can be reanimated, like how they have their head cut off, we can make so they can do that. Um, there's some about how they travel in groups and how they um, don't fall apart or something like that. But I've spent way too much time talking about this. Let's get started. And, of course, we're going to play it super fast mode, because once I bought the game and I played in super fast mode, I realized it was way too slow in double fast mode. So triple fast is the way I go. Hex here begins to spread. Let's see if we can evolve something. We're going to try to evolve Saliva 1. And we're also going to try to, try to get Blood 1 as well, because Saudi Arabia is a very cold country. And we're going to need to get that for Air 1, too. I want to do, I guess. Real life, that's what I really had to take consider. I used to just go by the stats of how much stuff improved, but that does not work well. It actually does pertain to stuff. So I've actually I've actually wrote my own scenario and I thought everything was based on numbers and stats, but it actually in the game and said scenarios it is based on real life. Best part about the beginning is that it'll basically give you infinite DNA and it's just waiting for you to evolve stuff. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and evolve Blood 1, and I'm going to go see if I can evolve Cold Resistance. Since I always evolve that, I never have to evolve Heat Resistance because of Saudi Arabia. Um, well, it's spread to Egypt already, that's good. But, you'll eventually have to get uh, Cold Resistance and 1 and 2, and then probably some Drug Resistance in there. I'm going to pause the game to go close my door, because I don't want my dad walking in again. Some drug resistance in here. This doesn't increase any severity, I believe. But basically, we'll take advantage of that infinite DNA part right there because it'll do stuff. Yeah, again, I'm not sure if I'll be able to beat this, but it's on casual and I'm doing what I can. Let's just. There we go. You <laughs> said I just have to pause it. How much does drug resistance 2 cost? It costs 23. Let's just. For that. Ugh, I can just click instead of pushing enter. It's a lot faster. I can see more countries. But I do like this artificial desktop setup I have here. It's really great. Bigger screen. I'm not sure if you can see all the black parts up there. I, I tried to fix that, but I couldn't. With a resolution. Oh! Cider Rape is almost. Oh, it's on the move. We are getting some DNA, guys. Dry winds and air in countries. That's why we're going to need air, but we're going to try to get some stuff first. I've actually not played Plague Inc. in a long time, but it's great. I just play in school. School just gets all the AP class, honors classes. I'm not an AP nerd, but they just get in my way of doing so much homework and stuff. Okay, we can get some drug resistance, so let's go and use that, and that will be the last thing we're going to need to get for now. We might evolve hardening some other time, but. We're going to want to get air, and then probably saliva too. I never mess with the uh, urinary stuff, because that's just creepy and weird. We got the USA infected, that's good. Still play game. Sorry about the lag, but that'll be fixed by my new computer coming. I should be getting that sometime this week. And again, we are sorry we haven't made any videos. We're just lazy. I'm not going to make up any more excuses. We're because we don't get to play games on the weekend because on our on weekdays because we're parents we just play them all the time on the weekends we never stop to think oh we should probably make videos for our channel that's our fault we are sorry about that but I'm gonna pause the video real quick I'm not gonna do anything I'm just gonna let the computer speed it up a little bit okay I think the computer said some time to speed up it's because I'm whole book of Lovecraft I want to make you guys laugh so let's go Ugh. Sorry about the lag. I will fix that. I'll have like 8 gigabytes of RAM in my new computer. I hope. At least.
I actually noticed that the video went off this time. I'm paying attention. This is good. Wait. Okay. Lunge Olympics. We should probably evolve some infectivity for that. I feel so technical. There's such a difference from making a video on my own laptop than making a video this. Oh, you look over here and you can see all the necrovirus, like the red glow thing happening over here. Um, as we get into the zombie stage, you'll be able to see the skeleton in the face like morph into a zombie. So, pretty neat. Uh, something else. We're probably going to have to get Salvation 2. I don't know why I call it Salvation. Salvation is this one. Um, I don't remember, I, I think I got genetic mimic instead. Let me check. Because you're not actually going to want genetic mimic. Yeah, I got genetic mimic. Um, you're actually probably going to want creationist for this. Because a lot of the times, I'm really lucky it hasn't already happened. But hyper salvation, um, look, that does kick up the severity. You're like, oh, it's just a little bit of severity. It's not going to work. That will make them notice it and they will rush to cure it. Like, it's the end of the world because it's plague ink and everything's exaggerated. But you want creationist. I should have not got genetic mimic, but yeah, when that mutates, it's not that. It's a not um, not insomnia. It's always hypersalvation, but that's what happens. And you really want creationist, really badly. I'm gonna see if we want something. Genetic hardening we can probably get. You don't want reshuffle since reshuffles when they have the cure. It's like that's what we can do, so we are all prepared. Because you want the zombies to spread once you get them. Stupid lag. Wait, pause, 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 pause. <sighs> it's never been this laggy when I play Play Game on here. However, I have been playing it on my Mac top. Okay. The computer's not going to speed up. It's getting like 6 and 7 frames. I'm not sure why it's doing that since on my desktop with nothing running, it'll have like. Um, 200 frames. Oh, I missed some DNA points right there. Just a second, my computer is running out of battery. Okay, now it's not running out of battery, which is good. So I, I wasn't sure if that one was going to give me anything or not, but... Ugh. It's just... Lag is not good. I do recommend a wireless mouse for this game. We'll have Let's go and see if we can evolve something else. Um, at least the dialogue menu isn't too bad. I don't know if I really want to, um, evolve anything, but you're going to need a ton of DNA for, um, to save up when you do the actual Croa to get a ton of genes that you will need. Because ZCon, which is the project that will basically try to eradicate you and all your zombies, which they actually made the disease of Oh, and Somni is something mutated. See, that's why we're gonna need that's why we need creationist. Somni I've never seen mutated before. Evolve that. Seven DNA, that's why we're gonna need some saved up. Save that so you have oops get how many the stuff ready you milk the um the infinity and DNA stage. Insomni symptom mutated, oh my gosh, no. I'm not gonna cure that. It's just too much. I cannot that's why, that's that's why you really want to do that, but if they start curing that, I swear, they're... See, that's what they it's causing insomnia. I have that every night before I go to bed. Some of the world, darn it. It's not going well. We're going to have to try to halt the cure. Should not work. But yeah, you're going to need creationists for this. I'm probably going to fail this episode, but... Oh my gosh. I cannot imagine what is going on right here. But, we're just going to have to leave it. I'm not going to spend 21 DNA on this. I, I'm not going to do that. And I bet it's not going to give me anything for turning them into zombies either. Do we have all the countries infected? We have all the countries infected. I'm going to fail, but you guys are going to need creationist and save so you have like 70 DNA, basically, for that. That is why you need creationist. I don't know what the heck kind of luck we just had with that. That should not work that way ever. So we have 20% cure. Um, we have 40 right now. That's pretty good. Um, 
we should probably go ahead and mutate Necroa so we can try. And I'm gonna check and see. That's the Necroa gene right there. It's not called that, but I call it that. We need some money left over for reshuffle. Um, we don't have enough. We'll have to mutate that, and we're gonna have to get five DNA, which I'm gonna say it's gonna be pathetic if um it won't give us five DNA in the entire or six DNA. No, 5 DNA in the entire, like, 80% we have left of the cure to go. But that's just sad that it probably won't, because necrovirus is mean and unforgiving. Um, since you know that when you get into kill stage, basically, which is what this is going to start to do, uh, um, let's see. It's going to start, it usually gives you a bunch of DNA for killing everybody, but... Necrovirus, it takes a long, long time. Okay, we can get some DNA. If we can get some reshuffle, that'll probably work well. Um, but zombies, you can see growing there, we already have 30%, which is not good. Um, and you can say, it's it's okay, we're going to get some DNA, but that's probably not going to happen. Zcom's activating Greenland. It's always activating Greenland for some reason. Um, I think it's just me. 40% already. And we cannot devolve any symptoms. Because it's a virus, and viruses cost money to de-evolve anything. We got everything, we just need 5 DNA, and have 3 D I don't know, 4 DNA. 50% complete already, and we haven't got anything, really. We need 2 more DNA. Thank you, Bubbles, for helping. No cure Bubbles? Of course not. Um, 30-60%. I need to reshuffle really badly, and that's probably not even going to help. Oh, now we're starting to get some stuff. Right now we're starting to get some stuff. It's growing exponentially. We're gonna need some 2DNA, please. 2DNA. Cure is 75% complete. I wish it was like nanovirus. Thank you. Thank you. Aw, oh, it gave me one? That's just stupid. I just need one DNA, really. I just need one. Give me one. Give me one, give me one, give me one. Come on, we're getting like really far into this. Girl virus does a ton of time on this. Wait a second. That's what happens. You get bubbles for destroying countries. Mexico. Wait, we're going to pause that. Get that. And we are going to... This is probably a hopeless cost, but we're going to try some of that. And we're probably going to need to evolve this thing right here. Because that's really... We need only 15 So reshuffle will help. Sort of help. Delay it for a few more seconds. It's not helpful, game. We need nine for that. I don't know. It delayed it for a little bit. We're just gonna try to gonna try to do this. That'll help them group together. Actually, um, active ability is now ready. We have ninety-four percent the cure. We are not going to get genetic reshuffle two because that'll cost eighteen. There's no way we can get that in like ten seconds. So we're just going to have to wait it out and. We did infect most of the world. I am sorry we did not get everybody infected with a zombie, but that's okay, since that's not over. You might find yourself frustrated that you not get everything by that. You probably need to get some autolytic reduction right here. Or delay, whatever it's called. Um, but it's okay if they cure it, since we still have a large amount of zombies. Everybody's still infected. They can still turn into it until they get cured. So we're just going to have to get some stuff get some delay, since you're going to need as much delay as possible. They're going to die off. The zombies will die off as really fast. But I'm struggling to, um, they got 100% cure now, so, yeah, we're dead. Enhanced motor control. That's, I believe, that one, right? Yeah, so this will get stuff to do stuff. Um, nutrient flow, occupable, temporal, sight and curing. We can make them stronger, we can make them that. Fight through the severity increased. Once they got the cure, it doesn't matter anymore for severity. We're gonna need some more auto like delay. I mean, you can see how they're already dying really fast, and just learn from my mistakes. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if I will survive this round. I probably will not. I'm really sorry about that, but. Um, Techman 20 is right. This is a very, very hard game mode to beat. 
Ugh. It did not go. Sorry, I let the thing go off again. I'm not sure exactly where that cut out, but I, I really need to pay more attention to that. Ugh. We can do this, which will put them bigger hordes, I think. And we need to get some of this, which will give us more zombies. This will, um, for to explain this, this, um, will make more zombies be able to be reanimated. This will, um, ah, what is it? This will delay them from dying too much, because they will fall apart eventually because they're, like, decomposing corpses. Oh, there's still little white things floating around over here. Um, this will improve their group speed on how much they can attack, and here we'll find how strong they can get and stuff. Um, I believe that, uh, oh, there's cannibals right there. I don't want to buy that. That's just stupid, but once the zombies exist, they're... Yeah, I'm not going to survive this round. I'm sorry, guys. You can see it, like, closing in on me from both edges. But we are going to leave a major dent in the world. Let's see what countries have been destroyed. Peru, the USA has been destroyed. Hmm. We need Russia, Canada, stuff like that. We have made a major dent in the world, and Saudi Arabia is apparently... Saudi Arabia, why is it showing up blue? We cannot be... Zero and... F oh, they're all dead. Infected. Anyways, let's... Uh, Saudi Arabia, I, was, I had some hope for a second. Maybe that's what happens when they breach the, um... Thing, and whatever it is. But yeah, we're not going to this round, I am sorry. I might try this again if you guys want. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you really want to... We have some video stuffs out. Um, we can... An ultimate prank video we can show you guys. I don't know, what are we going to try here? Um, this will give us more zombies. We're probably going to need that since we are dying rapidly. And that's also Zcom that can kill them, so. Such a marginal sliver. But we are working on, we have an ultimate prank video. We can show that to you. Leave a comment if you want to see the ultimate prank. It's actually pretty cool. We did it last night to our parents. They were not really happy with us, but we thought it was fun. Um, and I will be getting a new computer soon, I hope. And stuff will happen. Um, comment if you want me to try this again, try more play game, try a new game maybe, suggest a game, uh, we'll be able to do Gmod and everything so much faster on new computers, PB is just so, I'm PB, I don't do anything, but, I'll see if I can get this video out pretty soon, I'll probably try to throw it again, guys, sorry I didn't get it all, but we did make, leave a major dent in the world, as we can see. Hey guys, sorry about that, my computer and Stop play gank in the video to download updates because that's apparently more important. It's stupid. But anyways, I didn't get to say a formal goodbye, so I guess goodbye. Um, well, my as you can see, this new monitor is a lot bigger, so everything's all weird. I changed them to small icons, but the screen itself is still a lot bigger. If I change the view to medium icons, which is believe by what I had, it's still pretty long. But I like it as short icons. So I changed to large. Oh, okay, don't like, 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 okay. Anyways, I'll show you guys how the video is actually made. Um, so we use Windows Movie Maker 2.6, because the new Windows Movie Maker is bad. Very, very bad. You cannot trim videos, but here we go at the bottom. Um, we basically, I will record them in this transition, um, I'll record them in Bandicam over here. Um, I'll open the folder up, I'll put them in transition 2, which is actually where I keep all my intros. I don't know, I could, we could do a video like that, of how, um, like, what kinds of, uh, how to make your own videos and stuff. Neat. But we put in here, we have our regular intro, my intro, the plugging intro, the Minecraft Daily intro, Minecraft Daily is still alive, that is proof. But, then we'll drag them all in here, and we'll merge them into stuff, and show you. It's very, we don't have very good stuff right now. I don't know, that's not going to play right now. Well, we could do a video on that when we get our new computers. Well, I get my computer on how to make your own videos, and you can make your own YouTube channel. I mean, it's great if our channel, but we can show you guys how to make your own stuff. But, yeah, formal goodbye lasted way too long, but that's okay, guys. So, I guess that's it. Ooh, Hexco icon here. I have that on my, uh, 
desktop. It merged into an actual cool little thing. It has this weird thing in medium icons. I'm not gonna go into that. I'm taking way too much time. See you later, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, no, I just remembered it. I forgot my catchphrase. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it. Glitch out.